so it, it, it's been interesting times, uh, most definitely. We've, we've had uh, the, the start of a project and we had certain timelines and certain projections that we want to achieve. And uh, we got to a phase when, when uh, COVID, the pandemic, started kicking in. And I, I can remember we, we were actually still busy with a session in Nairobi, uh, where all the consultants were here. And, and at that point, the group decided from a safety perspective, we had to cancel these sessions. And uh, the consulting team flew back to Turkey. Uh, we dispersed and we had to re look at the situation and understand and I think at, at that point uh, in the world it was kind of a uncertainty unknown and uh, we went through that phase where we said at that point okay we, we need to place the project on hold just to reassess what the future holds um, for business uh, perspective and from a project perspective we, we don't know what would happen in the future so at that point the SAFO group executives decided to Put a, put a hold on the project until we could understand what business would look like in future, which was a, a prudent decision. And uh, so during that phase, uh, the project team was, was still uh, involved to, to some extent to understand uh, what are the remaining items that we, we had to finalize, how do we um, engage with a different team. So the consulting team was there, not fully in, involved, but. Uh, you know, through the relationships that we've built over the time that uh, they were still assisting us in certain elements and, and completing what was still outstanding. And, and that continued for a, for a number of months until uh, I think it was September or October uh, 2020 when the group decided that, okay, now we need to, to continue with business and we need to continue with the, the project. So, um, and I, th I think at that point in time it, it, it was a, a, a bold decision for the group because the pandemic was not yet uh, cleared, it, is, it was still alive and, and well, but we needed to reinvent ourselves of how do we continue with a project with while uh, the pandemic is, is still uh, in place and it, it's still out there. And we needed to, to really look at how we can use technology for us to, to continue in the project because it wasn't a, a situation where we could get together in a, a boardroom or in sessions and have discussions. We, that was not a possibility for us. So we had to really look at how do we engage uh, with the different teams and functions, still achieve the same goals, but do it in an offline situation. And I think that's also what the whole uh, uh, last year and a half has showed us that Technology can actually be used very favorably in these kind of situations where uh, we, we started off in, in November last year and it was fully online uh, where on a daily or every second day we had uh, Teams, uh, Microsoft Teams sessions with different uh, functions and the teams continued to work together to uh, finalize and, and consolidate the requirements and uh, finalize the, the build phase of Cephalo module, which was uh, truly a, a tremendous achievement to, to, to work together, although you don't see your, your counterparts or you see it on, on a computer screen, but you can still communicate and you can still achieve the, the same results that uh, you require.